sometimes I think it would be nice to retire. My grandchildren are always asking me, you know, when am I going to stop going abroad? Um, but every time I think about it, I just think, oh, I couldn't face it if I wasn't another mission to go on. I've been to Turkmenistan, Guinea, South Sudan. I've been to the Congo twice, India, the Sierra Leone, Liberia twice. No, Liberia three times. I've been to Greece, Haiti, and I'm sure there's some more missions as well, but I've forgotten them now. <laughs> so what SAN stands for water and sanitation and what you emphasize, whether it's water or sanitation, depends on the mission. So it can be sanitation, so that's infection control, which came into the fore, especially in Ebola. Or it could be water, which is something in South Sudan that we had to try and find water and provide it. So it's distribution, purity, cleanliness, and making sure there's the right amount, both for the clinics and the hospitals and for the refugees themselves. <laughs> On a typical MSF mission, uh, I might be uh, organising staff to dig latrines and deciding where they're going to be and make sure they're kept clean, uh, organising um, waste management of medical waste uh, and making sure there's water points in a refugee camp so that there's plenty of water and it's accessible for uh, people to collect. Like most roles in MSF, you just have to find inspiration. You've got to use your ingenuity uh, to make things happen because there's no alternative. You've got to sort the situation out. I'd always wanted to work in uh, the humanitarian field, um, but I had a, a child when I was very young, so I waited till he'd left home and that's when I decided I would actually take up this option and see if I could get employed uh, in, the humanitarian, in humanitarian work. I started actually as a logistician, which is also a great job, um, but there was something about the work that the Watsons did when I was in the field and I watched them working, which really attracted me. So I retrained with MSF as an emergency Watson, and this is what I've been doing now for the last, I think it's 13 years. Before that, I was a teacher, um, I was an outdoor education instructor, and I also ran my own business for eight years. Surprisingly, all the jobs I've done in the past have been very helpful for my work with MSF. Uh, so I've been a teacher, and that's been great in helping me uh, train my staff. In the outdoor education side, um, it's been very useful to be a practical person who's used to living in tents and used to um, finding solutions and living in not always in hotels, not always in the easiest circumstances. And being a businesswoman has helped in organising the accounts and keeping the books. Oh, the worst thing about my job um, is sometimes also the best thing. It can be very challenging. Ebola was a very uh, rewarding mission. Um, you actually felt you really were doing some good there. But of course, it was very difficult dealing with that amount of death. Uh, and especially as the Watsan role was to um, dispose of the dead bodies with as much div dignity as possible. Um, on other missions, for example, in South Sudan, I was there in the dry season and it was 50 degrees in the shade, uh, which for a Yorkshire lass was very difficult. Um, but you learnt to sort of pace yourself differently um, and learn to cope with it, partly by getting up very early in the morning and not working during the hottest part of the day. I think that the best thing on uh, a mission is the actual contact with the local people. Uh, I get to know them very well because I work quite closely with my national staff. And it's learning about their lives, about their culture, uh, about the ways they live. Quite often you're invited to people's houses to join them for meals. Um, so that aspect, I think I find the most enjoyable. The other is, and I'm, in, and I'm an inveterate traveler. I love traveling. Um, so this takes me to all sorts of places in the world where otherwise I couldn't go.
I would definitely recommend working with MSF. It will open your eyes to many things. Uh, you will see things that uh, you were never expected to see in your life, and it will change you. When you set out on your first mission, it's um, it's very exciting and very daunting. And when you get there, it can be slightly overwhelming. Keep working and you will find your solutions and you will find it very rewarding. Mm -hmm.